Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another large mining ship that's designed to mine on the moon and it can collect up one hell of a lot of resources and it's got one hell of a lot of utility built into it and it's called the Micro Mole Moon Miner, which is a very hard sentence to say, but it's this thing sitting right behind me. So it's a hydrogen powered ship that features five drills to drill all the way down into the ground. It's got a self writing system thanks to a programmable block and it's got plenty of hydrogen tanks to make sure you can fly this thing for a nice long time. So pressing F10 and find this in the spawn menu, the Micro Mole Moon Miner is 813 small blocks using the Decorative Blocks DLC pack. We've got one hell of a lot of invention about it. It also lists all the scripts used. So there is the auto leveling script, there's the automatic LCD screens. Then down here is all the specifications for it, as well as the controls. And right at the very bottom, it's got the requirements to actually build it in survival mode. Everything has been listed in great detail. So just give this a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, have a good look around the outside, test it out, see how much it can carry, and we'll go through the controls. That's the wrong camera, but my character can bugger off all the same. And this is what we get at the very front for the Micro Mole Moon Miner. So we've got an industrial cockpit to drive this thing around, or a camera right below it, so we help drive this thing forwards and get a good view of where we're going. To the left and right of that, we've got some hydrogen tanks to make sure this thing got plenty of hydrogen, so it can fly for a nice long time. We've got spotlights to light up the darkness, and then a bunch of conveyors that go down to some sorters, onto some ejector connectors, to all get rid of anything you don't need. We can also see how our drills have been set up, give us plenty of clearance all the way around the vehicle, and we also see our hydrogen thrusters that should give us a nice little speed when we fly this thing around. Moving around onto the side that has the sunlight, all around to here, some great use from our unfinished blocks. Onto this side we see even more hydrogen tanks, even more conveys, even more ejectors, and there is a little LCD screen with a tiny little mole on it, as well a mini mascot. Anyway, round towards the very back, there's our connectors to dock this thing up, unload everything we've collected, as well as an O2H2 generator right behind there, so we can produce some fuel while driving this thing around if we accidentally say hit an ice patch. But yes, there's another camera to help reverse this thing up. There's some more spies to help out if it's very dark. Then moving all the way up and looking down at this thing, see a large car container in the middle with two medium car containers on each side. We see how it's all being connected up and goes towards the front, as well as an ore detector that sits right above our cockpit. We also see where our programmable blocks are sitting, which is the automatic LCD screen script and our auto alignment script. Then we have to move all the way down and come underneath this thing through the floor. And there we go. That's a fantastic view of how the drills have been set up. There's a fantastic view of all the ejectors. Then we've got a bunch of batteries to make sure it's got a nice little power, a bunch of thrusters to make sure it can reverse out off the moon's surface. And that is about it for the outside of the Micro Mole Moon Miner. So now what I can do is to grab hold my character and come up into that cockpit, and we'll go through the controls, then proceed to mine through the surface. So in first person view, looking up, this is our automatic LCD screen script telling us our ship parameters, we see if any blocks are damaged, then we see our summary for our cargo containers, which contains all the ore. Yes, looking all the way down, and the rounds, there we go. Back in the third person view, bring up the HUD, these are the controls, where number one is going to be for our camera right below our ship, so we can help precisely aim where our drills are going. Number two is, as you would guess, is to take over the drills so we can start mining it, where left mouse is collect, right mouse is to make a very big hole, and number three is for our spotlights all the way around the ship, turn them on and off. Number four is for our alignment script, so if we have to move up slightly and say put it on the wonk, pressing that, that's now going to align it to the planetary gravity. There we are, we are now nice and straight. Number six is to turn off our gyroscopes, which can be very useful when combined with that programmable block. So as I say to this, turn that on and then press number four, it'll still align itself, but now I can't move the vehicle around, you can probably hear the mouse moving around on its mat. But yeah, the ship is not going to move, but I can still move it up, down, left, right, and all of that, so I can keep the vehicle perfectly straight when it comes to mining down into the ground. Turning that off for the moment, number six for our auto detector on and off, number seven for our camera at the back to reverse the thing up when flying normally, number eight for our connector at the back to lock and unlock it, number nine is for a toggle for all of our thrusters around the ship to turn them on and off, then there's a tab number two, then got a camera at the front, drive it around, our antenna on and off, our hydrogen tanks to stop power on and off, then our batteries to auto recharge, which will take this whole thing offline. And there we go. So without further ado, what we're going to do is make sure that it's perfectly lined up, and that is turned on. So there we go, we're going to let the program block take over. Now coming into the first camera, and it's time to move all the way down. Holding the left mouse button as we do this. Here we go, we're now going to keep tapping forward every now and again to make sure it's nice and lined up. Then we're just going to proceed all the way down to where we stop collecting stuff. 
And here we go, the car containers are now filled to the brim. So it's time to let go of that, press number 9, turn on the thrusters, and lift it all the way out. So just by holding out spacebar, you can see how absolutely smooth this hole is. And now we are out. Looking all the way down, that's one almost perfect hole. But yes, as for the actual car containers, coming into here in the inventory, hiding the empty, and moving down. So we can see we've got a few bits and bobs inside here with a bit of stone. We see our connectors got some, we can see our drills got a nice lot of stuff inside each of them. And all the way down to here, there's our ejectors. Then all the way down to the bottom, we should get to our large car container. There it is. There's our mediums on the side. And there we go. Our O2H2 generator has even pulled in some ice from what I've collected. But yes, that's one hell of a lot of stuff this ship can collect. And as you saw from a few seconds ago, it's perfectly fine at reversing out the hole with all the stuff inside it. And yes, I did have to turn off the ejectors because it is naturally set up to eject out all the stone. So for the moment, we'll come back into here, find the ejectors once again. And I'll go and turn them back on. There we go. Then I'll start to shoot out all the stone. But while it's doing that, come over to tab number two. And well, first person view even. And try to sing around. So moving forwards, it's surprisingly fast for how big and how heavy this thing is. Coming to a stop, it should be identical because we've got the same thrusters forwards and backwards. Moving left, got some nice speed for that. Moving to the right, getting some nice speed for a very full up mining ship. Then moving down, it's going to be helped by gravity. Here we go. Then moving up, one hell of a lot of speed, which is always nice to see, and it should be perfectly useful on a planet that has slightly heavier gravity than the moon I'm currently on. But as for gyroscope controls, moving this thing around, I had to turn on the gyroscope so it turned off. There we go. Got plenty of control over this, a surprising amount of control, considering how heavy this thing is. Not as heavy as it was a few minutes ago. Yes, it's still a nice sort of control, and always nice to see, considering some ships can get very heavy and then very sluggish as they were to move around. But as for that, that is it for the Micro Mole Moon Miner. It's a lovely mining ship if you do wish to use it in your world. You get a nice lot of use out of this, especially if you were, say, starting on the moon. And thanks to the creator listing everything you need to build this in survival mode, you then got a little checklist to go through to eventually build this thing up and, well, get it running. But to finish off the video, what I'm going to do is simply turn off the thrusters. We come crashing down to the ground, which I don't think is going to do too much damage because we are on the moon and it's got very low gravity. But here we go, all the way down. And that's about what I expected. But anyway, there'll be a link to the description below if you do wish to download it and play around with yourself. I highly recommend you do. There'll also be a link to the Skybox I'm currently using. I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye bye.